I'm in the shed. Uh, what we're going to do is just have a little tour around uh, my allotment on this dull day. It's a bit of a warm day. Let's just have a little look around, see what's going on, how much progress I've got done. Okay, let's have a look. So, it's been a few weeks since I was showing you this. As you can see, the Swede is looking rather nice, rather large. As you can see, it's starting to swell up. Looking lovely. If you can get in there and have a look, I don't know. Can you see? Yeah. Uh, these have been, I should say, the leaf leaf miner or uh, scorched. You know what I mean? So that's a cylinder. As you can see, the cylinder popping up right there. So that'll be a good couple of weeks to go. Uh, I think I might be doing the turnip today. As you can see, the turnips are looking huge. Uh, more cylinder. Uh, the tea berries are starting to swell up there. Cherries looking great. Uh, my onions, spring onions, uh, leeks outside. Ones in the polytunnel are obviously a bit more larger than that. Uh, my beetroot boltardi looking okay. Flowers are starting to like shoot away. More cherries, uh, apples. Uh, I put these out last Wednesday or Thursday. About 45, so cob each. 45 cobs, fantastic. I think it's incredible. Uh, some flowers are looking okay. My pear's dying. I took the chance of obviously planting that again. This is all the all the flowers are looking fantastic, morning glory, uh, and others, but I can't remember what they're called. The compost pile's going down. I uh, planted more courgettes out here. Some more maras. Put some uh, coriander there. Just, just put it there. Just had it spare. Um, got nut squash. I like triffids. They're getting bigger. And as you can see, my courgette here is absolutely huge. That's my welly. Look at the size of the leaf. Love it in here. It's a mara, so that'll probably be huge. I've got some. Uh, sprouts uh, tomatoes I tied them up yesterday and obviously cut down the uh, leaves underneath uh, I've got a few tomatoes warming my spring onions are looking fantastic and before you see it loads of weeds it doesn't affect it it doesn't take any goodness out of the soil once I pull them up I'll get rid of all the weeds and I'll do exactly what I did over here uh, mulch it there's no weeds here uh, what's in here is aubergine. They've been ate a little bit, so I think it's them little black beetles. I had the same problem when uh, I did uh, the beetroot and the swede and the turnips outside got ate. And sure, someone had put on about lime, so I've put some lime on here, so hopefully it might deter them. Uh, I've got organic uh, slug pellets here, so but I've never seen any, you know, you normally see, see the uh, trails of the snails, as you would say, uh, never seen any. Uh, Grapes looking great, green, red, uh, like I say, tomatoes, God knows what they are, whether they're bushy, I haven't, you know, left them, I've just cut them so far up, as you can see, just to give it a bit more air, because it's quite humid, it's warm in here, humid, so I might get a bit rot, might a bit of damp, so hopefully it'll give a bit of air for them, uh, as you see, strawberry still, uh, my raspberry bush is looking great. I uh, put some melons in here, don't know what they are. Uh, cut the melons over there. Uh, I made this temporary little uh, thing for the climb up. It might support, it might not. Just tap the tree. That's the whole point of doing anything in the allotment. You try and see what happens. Uh, minuet, basil, uh, my leeks two weeks ago. They're about twice the size. So putting them in, just putting them in, not leaving it, just put them in in the pot uh, out of these pots I'm just showing them straight in the ground and then mulching it's done quite well actually, I think uh, it seems to be working uh, retaining the moisture uh, in here, some garlic chive some uh, Greek oregano 
some carrots in here we seem to be doing okay it was a little just a test to see if i could do that in pots instead of putting them in the ground just for space just putting some more uh moulin rouge uh beetroot uh and uh some more pak choy another 45 love pak choy haven't really cooked with it but i've been getting the chickens and the chicken love it so basically just a, something else for the chickens uh peppers we potted them uh, uh another melon like i'll show you the ones in the greenhouse sorry greenhouse the polytone uh i'm trying them in there see what happens put them in a pot see if it makes any difference uh i've got loads of more onions, uh, turnips, uh, cauliflower, multi head. I was giving that off someone called Hannah. Uh, thank you, Hannah. Uh, some, what was it? Uh, hollyhock uh, chocolate. So, see what happens. Uh, some more. I think this is a. Uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Victor I mean, is it a Victoria or is it a uh, blush? I don't know. Uh, beetroot. This is grown from seed and look at it. Brilliant. I've put two outside, see what happens, uh, more, obviously more sunflowers, I haven't looked after them, I've neglected them as you can see. Uh, herbs are doing fantastic, uh, fantastic uh, kale, uh, that's my savoy looking okay, I can't remember what that is in the back. Uh, my purple sprouting broccoli has been, as you can see. Sprouting. So I'll be cutting that. All the stuff's just coming up. Uh, more sunflowers. Uh, more flowers, potatoes. Uh, just everything's just you know with this extra water. I sort of like uh, it's help the weeds grow a bit quicker. This is why I've been doing no dig with the bark because I could water where I needed it so it didn't attract the weeds but of course with the water going everywhere with the rain and everything it's just attracting more weeds but you know I'll just pull them up. Uh, that's it. So it's just a little twa just to show you what's going on. What's going on with all my stuff. Hopefully you'll have a great day the rest of the day. See you later. It's Darren, I'm in the shed. See you later.